Hi, I'm any new province, and is this possibly Popper playable? That's the question I want to answer about Survival Cash, one of the cards that was made legal with the release of Iconic Masters Iconic. on Magic the Gathering Online. Before I swing into the deck tech, I'd like to remind you that if you enjoy these videos and you'd like to see more possibly Popper playable, then you can subscribe to the channel or leave a like on the video down below. I'd really appreciate it. It's a great way to let me know that you like what you see, and it also encourages me to keep making great Popper content. Without further ado, introducing Martyr Cash. This list comes from links to the past from the Popper Discord. I have to thank them because I don't think I could have broken Survival Cache myself and this list also looks super fun to play. I'll start by explaining Survival Cache. It says, you gain two life, then if you have more life than an opponent, draw a card. Rebound. What rebound means is, if you cast this spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. We jump through a lot of hoops so that this card actually reads, gain four life, draw two cards. So what do I mean by jumping through hoops? Well, we're always going to have to have more life than an opponent to draw cards off of survival cash. For that reason, we're running fogs and life gain spells to make sure that we're always at that higher life total. Our first fog is Kami of False Hope. It says, sacrifice Kami of False Hope, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Another fog we run is Prismatic Strands, which says, prevent all damage that sources of the color of your choice would deal this turn. We can flash it back by tapping a white creature we control. Martyr of Sands is our life gain card. It says, pay one, reveal X white cards from your hand and sacrifice Martyr of Sands, you gain life equal to 3 times X. Usually this is gaining us 9 to 12 life, and hopefully that swing is just enough to put us up above our opponent's life total so that we can draw cards off of Survival Cash. I was already excited to play a Kami of False Hope and Martyr of Sands deck with Survival Cash, but what makes this deck really cool is Grim Harvest. Grim Harvest is going to put these creatures back in our hand after we sacrifice them so that we can keep gaining life or fogging the board. Now what's really cool is, after we sacrifice a Martyr of Sands or a Kami of False Hope, we can use the Recover ability on Grim Harvest to put it back in our hand and then grab a Life Gain or Fog Creature again. This is awesome because eventually it'll lock our opponent out of the game and it'll let us win by chipping in for damage or milling them out. Now it's entirely possible that our opponent will have some Graveyard Hate and ruin our Grim Harvest lock plan. For that reason we have a little bit more interaction so that we can take out our opponent's creatures and get our blockers in the way. We're running Journey to Nowhere which will hopefully lock down one of our opponent's crucial threats, and we're also running Celestial Flare which will make them sacrifice an attack or blocking creature. This can really make combat a nightmare for them. This deck also runs a lot of card draw so that it can draw into its Grim Harvest lock or into aggressive creatures to win the game with. Of course, Survival Cash has its own interesting card draw ability, but we also run Thraven Inspectors that enter the battlefield with a clue that can be sacrificed to draw a card, and Pal Sentinels that make us the monarch so that hopefully we can draw a card at the beginning of all of our end steps. So how are we going to win the game once we've locked our opponent out? It's going to be pretty boring to mill them, and it's probably a bit dangerous letting them hunt for interaction. Well, we've got Core Sky Fishers, which are 2 mana, 2 3 flyer. When they enter the battlefield, they'll return a permanent to our hand, hopefully a Thraven Inspector so we can draw another card. We also have Sends Enlistment, which pumps out soldier tokens to go wide and get around our opponent's board after we fog them out for pretty much a million turns. We have Guardian of the Guild Pack, which is essentially a resilient, unblockable creature in white. We have Gem Palm Avengers, which is going to pump up all of the incidental soldiers in our deck. And we also have Noble Templar, who's pretty great because of the great big buff on it. We're only running 20 lands in this deck, but that's okay because once we get up to 4 mana, we can usually stall out for long enough to find the next 2 lands and play Gem Palm Avengers and Noble Templars. Let's talk about that mana base. We have 4 Ash Barons, these are pretty great for getting the colors that we need when we need them, and they can also come down on turn 2 to cast those 2 drops at the right time. We have 2 Kybera Crossroads, these are going to gain us a couple life, sort of a theme of our deck life gain. We also have 8 Planes, these come in untapped and let us cast our Kami of False Hopes, Martyr of Sands, and Thraven Inspectors on turn 1. We have four Scoured Barons, standard popper duels. They're going to enter the battlefield, tap, and gain us a life. They'll also tap for white and black when they come untapped. We have one Secluded Step. This is a cycling land for when we're flooding out a little bit. We can also pitch it to Sends Enlistment if we have to do that instead of drawing a card. And we have one Swamp. We got a Lonely Swamp because we only have one black card in our deck. So there it is, Martyr Cash by Links to the Past. I can't wait to take this deck to a league, and we're going to be doing that on Tuesday night at twitch.tv slash anynewprovince. Remember that if you liked the video, it would be really great great if you could give me a like down below or subscribe to the channel. It's an awesome way to let me know that you're really enjoying what you're seeing and it encourages me to keep making more popper content. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on Tuesday night.